Are you ready to go, Damien? Yes, I'm ready. It's five minutes. Please, could you give us a five second countdown? Here we go. Battery in. Four, three, two, one. Are you a good cook? Uh, yes, I can be a good cook. I, I, I'm not a particularly inventive cook. I, I haven't sort of made cooking my own, but I love to get books out, recipe books, and follow recipes. Are you a messy person, a tidy person, a bit of both? Um, I, I let things get to a point of chaos, yes, r rather quickly, and then suddenly I snap and I have to, I have to tidy everything up. How would you describe yourself in a sentence? Um, loyal, um, sporty, intelligent enough, um, selfish, um, funny, sometimes um, spoiled. Are you an intellectual? No, I'm not an intellectual, no. Is your job intellectually stimulating? Uh, a lot of the time, uh, and sometimes frustratingly not. Would you call yourself vain? Uh, yes, I'm vain. Uh, but not in a sort of, I look in the mirror and melt, uh, the, the wondrousness of me. Uh, I think it's, it's more based in insecurity. What did you want to be when you were growing up? Um, a, a snooker player, actually. A professional sportsman of some sort. And, you uh, play a bit of sports. I, I played a lot of sport at school, and I still play sport. I played football last night, in fact, which is like slightly tense adductor here. Is it right that you are a Liverpool fan? It is correct. Do you get to go to Anfield? Uh, I do go to Anfield, um, uh, but I am a Southern armchair supporter mostly. Uh, I've worked in Manchester quite a lot, and when I'm in Manchester, I I, I make every effort to go across. In fact, uh, Kenny, uh, King Kenny, no less, I have to say this because it's the, the best name drop I have. Kenny Dalglish. Yes, uh, invited me along to a game just before Christmas and it was the Fulham game and it got cancelled because of all the terrible snow. Non-sporting interests, please. Non-sporting interests, uh, uh, heavens, uh, reading, film, um, bicycling, that's more recreational uh, the way I do it. Um, do you go and watch other actors in the theatre and in the cinema, look at them and learn from them? All the time. Uh, actually, my wife and I are, are curious specimens in, in that we're actors that actually like going to the theatre to watch plays. Most people, a lot of actors don't. It's a bit of a busman's holiday for them. What was it like working in LA? <coughs> LA was uh, sunny, um, at times charmless, um, and at times depressing just from the overwhelming amount of sunshine that you get for a redhead. Do you enjoy being a redhead? Uh, has it had any impact on your career? I think it has uh, impact on my career daily. Uh, some I'm aware of, some I'm not aware of. I'm, people find, uh, are not indifferent to uh, the colour of me. And so I think sometimes that helps me get jobs and sometimes, no question, it, it hinders me. Did you get teased growing up? I amazingly seemed to have avoided it. Um, I think pr probably because I was in the school teams. I was just good enough to be to be in school sports teams. There was a lot of oi, someone pick up ginger as I wandered into the uh, penalty area, but not you know nothing terrible. Do you have a career highlight? A career highlight. Um, well, uh, for sheer fun, uh, being on Broadway with, with Hamlet was a, very much a sort of growing up, coming of age experience. When it comes to chemistry between actors, do you either have it or you don't, or can you work on it? Uh, I believe uh, that special thing is innate. Um, and then, you know, in any craft, the people that work hardest at it and hone their craft will, will become great. You can't be great uh, just with a... With, a, with, with an innate skill alone. Can you describe for me the moment just before you step on stage? The, uh, it was a, it's a, a sphincter tightening moment. It's quite sweaty and um, I, I try to stay calm and I try to breathe and I try to do some yogic breathing and just, just get everything as low and as centred as possible. Do you prefer working on stage or on screen? Um, I, <clears throat> I love doing both. Uh, the thing that finally got me down about uh, theatre work was the way in which I just w was not sharing the rhythms of the day with the rest of the human race. I was always going to work at the wrong time. I was always getting up at the wrong time and I found it rather disorientating. Would you say you work hard as an actor? Uh, I think I do work hard. I, I, I'm, yes, I, I work hard-ish. I, I can always work harder. Is there insecurity and uncertainty despite your success? Uh, 
Yes, mostly there's anxiety about just never knowing what's happening tomorrow, let alone the next week. Do you enjoy doing accents? Uh, I love doing, yes, I, I love doing accents. And that is it. That's all over, David. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. <laughs> Five minutes have gone. Fabulous. That was a lot of fun.